You can uh, you can use the product rule the way it is, but it's easier to multiply it out. And uh, probably the viewers at home don't want to listen to that conversation. What? These two guys here. So, uh, you, do you want me to pause? Well, you're gonna be welcome in here. <laughs> now you want to find the derivative and use it, right? I mean, this this part is not new, right? You're finding the extreme values using the derivative. 20 minus 2x. You find where it's 0. I'm going to write in here undefined, even though it's not undefined here, but just so we remember along the way that we got to check for both. 20 minus 2x. You don't have to show all the million steps in solving this. It's okay to just go down to say x is 10. It's assumed in this course, and as far as the AP exam goes as well, if you have an equation like this that's a linear or quadratic equation, you don't have to show a thousand steps in solving it. It's okay to just write the answer after that. They assume you know how to do grade eight math without showing lots of steps, but it's a, it's okay if you do either way. Um, you find that that tells you one of the numbers, and then of course y is 20 minus 10, 10. You don't even you know the the two numbers are 10, and then of course if you're doing sort of good form here, you want to say the numbers are right or whatever or both 10 or 10 and 10 or something like that. And maybe if you want to say what the product is. I don't want you to learn this from the point of view of trying to memorize, oh good, I know how to do the sum of numbers one and oh, I learned how to do the perimeter one. You want to, you want to just be able to apply the concept to any one of these things. Okay, so when you're, when you're, uh, Thinking about this and the method involved, the concept's the same for all of them. I think in grade 8 and 9, a lot of people try to learn, oh, I know how to do the coin problems, and then I know how to do the whatever problems, and they think of them all as different things, and it's hard to, hard to learn that way. You might encounter something where it's a difficult situation to think about. Draw a picture, think about it. You know, investigate it with numbers first. Just try this before until you understand what the you know what's going on a little bit and then you can confirm it with the algebra you can confirm it with a graph of course if you graphed it you'd find it looked something like that right if you graphed this function here the the product versus one of the numbers okay all of the the problems here range from hopefully more straightforward to uh maybe making a uh, little bit having a little bit more difficulty. What? Read it carefully. Draw a picture. And then we're uh, and then we're good. Okay. You have I don't know 40 minutes with which to work on this. Again, I I would encourage you to work either in pairs or work independently and then check as you go in pairs. I think groups bigger than that probably don't work too well. Three might be good, but you can feel free to work with a group and work at work against some other group and trash talk all you want. If that, if that, uh, I, you're going down.